Did you know, on September 5, 1877, one of the most admirable war leaders in the world who fought for his people sadly died on this day? This is Thazu Quitko, but famously known as, Crazy Horse. He was a Native American war leader of the Oglala Lakota tribe, in the 19th century. So how did Crazy Horse, gallop himself into the history books, and be known as a notable man, to this very day? Crazy Horse fought against the US government, striving through the oppression he believed Native Americans were facing and the horrid future, that was waiting for them by the encroachment of white American settlers, as they feared the eradication, of their traditional way of life. The name Crazy Horse derives from when he was a young boy. Crazy Horse was known as Curly Hair. Later he was renamed Horse on Sight. During a battle with the Arapahoes, the young Crazy Horse showed bravery. As a result Crazy Horse, the father, passed on his name to his son in honor of his war deed. He would gather large groups and planned many rampages showing his courage and desire against his enemies, his fate was eventually decided on September 5, 1877, as after surrendering to US troops under General George Crook, Crazy Horse was fatally wounded by a bayonet-wielding military guard while allegedly resisting imprisonment at Camp Robinson in present-day Nebraska. He was honored by the U.S. Postal Service in 1982 with a 13 cents Great American Series postage stamp in remembrance, of the courage Crazy Horse possessed no matter the circumstances, to protect his people's traditions and most of all, his tribe.